but knowledge on degree of serenity and it's about if you could delete touch which is essential to know that from your conscious and if you could do that yourself or if someone gained control over your conscious could do that to you and i call this touch and a sacrificial ideal so let's start with the definitions after i explain why it's not idea it's ideal because it is something that forms in the absence of something while it remains as something so what is knowledge knowledge is defined as something that which is perceived as true and usable as well as provable like this is important we are not certain right now if the knowledge we hold is uh, actually possible and is true we just perceive it as true we're not 100 certain or sure so further, knowledge concludes its consequences as well as a central construct, meaning the structures that form from knowledge uh, follow up into consequences. And the central construct, construct is um, formed by the knowledge and the ideas in knowledge to, to, to uh, f build uh, something like a central idea. The paradigms come forth from that then. Um, knowledge of self, meaning ideas, constructive work, so forth, as well as being in the sense of the building by envision perception. So this is one kind of knowledge. You could have the knowledge of this, like meaning everything you are, everything you envision, but also more important ideas in itself, or as I said, spirit work or const constructive work means spirit in the sense or something that is actually constructing knowledge. Um, as well as the being you are in the sense of building by the perception you are envisioning in the sense that this is uh, for the building of your spirit in a sense i don't know it's difficult to explain so sacrificial knowledge is such of sort that the user killed it right if you have sacrificial knowledge you used knowledge which has some certain characteristics and you just vanished it into something so point being if you do that and you for example forget knowledge and you sacrifice it in a sense but because you made yourself forget it um then you have literally killed in the, in the metaphor the knowledge so this has certain aspects that are interesting i believe but it's really weird but we have to assume it for the further theory that this is even possible that you can kill knowledge that this kind of knowledge is possible so this is all the fur about the third kind of knowledge which are not the only kinds of knowledge but these are the ones who are important which is about paths meaning memory or knowing of something that in is or has happened in any case of scenario so like if you walk somewhere you don't have immediately the memory right i mean you do but it's weird um you don't have it uh, in your spirit as something that is for further guiding it or something like it um but you have uh, the path of walking but this is just a metaphor that's why i choose paths because it's always nice to explain it that way but what I mean is memory of knowing something that in is or has happened in any case of scenario means anything at all. So anything that creates new structures that are circulating around certain points or, or streams or flows, whatever, is this kind of knowledge. So ways of regarding counsel, meaning to check knowledge, to check your being and so forth. Uh, counsel meaning that contemplating with yourself of the happens in the past or in past so meaning you don't know something what you want to do in the future you check your past you check your present and so forth and then you evaluate and seek counsel from yourself by contemplating with yourself of what has happened in the past to range your future and your present and so forth with your previous being 
and for that is the past is to be known to either an entirety or a degree from which it can be either lived through entirely or constructed in a solely part so the past is that that you can either know totally in a total or that like the past we are interested in of course there could be different parts past but let's just assume this is just possible or the past like the best possible option it's of course not only possible but the best possible option so the past is then also something you could live through like if you know everything or you could abstract into something you could live through and check if your present being aligns with it in a sense that makes sense to you doesn't mean which which sense you have for that so way one is accessing your whole being right you would have just said you can know everything or you're constructing a mathematical path of perfect nature to evaluate the consequence of your previous inner self living from the time or through there so you construct ideas that were you and they would have acted like you and then you do some really weird idea work to contemplate and to um what's the word to evaluate it against the present being you are while you live through the abstraction and then if it makes sense it makes sense if it doesn't it doesn't there's a problem if you forget something or don't know something for certain reason you you can't do that then the whole being and you need to do this which causes, in effect, in my mind, psychosis. Believe me, I, I do sound still like a crazy person, but it's just because I have a lot of ideas that don't fit society in a sense. And I do talk to myself a lot, and some, one, one more part, which is not crazy, but <laughs> it's not a matter. Um, but I've been there. I, I had psychosis. And... Uh, it's not nice if you don't know something which I never had. I always could remember everything in a way that is beneficial to me. I do believe that people don't have this gift or trade or opportunity or whatever. Perception, perk, I don't know. Possibility, maybe. Well said. Um, so you need to construct a mathematical path to not form psychosis because your spirit can otherwise not deal at least mine can if i don't know everything i did i i literally go crazy because i could have stepped on something that i don't know something poisonous or something like this i'm highly neurot neurotic in this sense but i think that's just the base experience conscious has so maybe i'm wrong but the video is for people who feel like this so touch and there we come to the interesting part like usually you can delete touch as perception or feeling from the outer realm of centered, centered such that is parts of navigation from perspective to gather rest and being from your conscious it's usually not deletable so meaning the outer realm is something that is lays outside your centered perspective that is in a sense a part of the navigation from your whole being to guide the rest that you are so knowing touch requires sense of the memory, idea of possibility, and memorizable alternatives that didn't come true. Meaning, if you have these centered such that is parts of navigation, like for your acting in the world, or acting in your spirit, or and guiding your spirit, or envisioning the perspective to a guide, to the spirit, for the rest you are, um, the sense of the memory is, is crucial like you need to actually know what what touch you felt or what memory you felt is also is regardlessly true for every knowledge and you know you need to know the idea of possibility so you do need to know what is else possible like and what was possible more what is po what was possible or what is possible at that moment for yourself like if you if you touch a bottle with your hand and you know you can't grab that far 
um, there, there only leaves two, two, two alternatives. Either you port it there if you grab the bottle or you're crazy. Right? Two alternatives. The rest is not, not possible. Someone pushing you towards the bottle if you grab it. If no one's in the room, it's, it's almost, most likely unlikely unless the person is invisible. Well, so, memorizable alternatives that didn't come true. This is a, a very important part. So I think I do. I do believe that, because um, the uh, alternatives that didn't come in to the uh, ideas you have in your conscious need to be not in line with the idea of possibility as well as the sense of the memory. Otherwise, your your knowledge is wrong. So you have the sacrificial idea of touch, which will I come to explain now. Um, deleting a certain knowledge in the whole of spirit requires a certain amount of not knowing the consequences at, at, that, at that given, or better said, any given time. So if you don't know what happened from a certain moment, you cannot reconstruct the moment as it is not really there anymore, as well as it's not much about the consequences, but what I mean is, if you know someone touched you there, even if it's yourself, it doesn't matter, um, and you don't know the consequence, meaning you don't feel the touch, you don't know who touched you, even if it was yourself or even was not someone else, and there's a problem if someone else touched you, even if it's just on the street, let's not talk the worst case scenarios here. Um, even if it's just someone on the street, he might don't know, have grabbed something out of your pocket, but if you don't know how to perceive it, the consequences at that given time, like the consequences of touch, you can literally not know if that person touched you, if it was yourself, or if yourself touched you, or someone else touched you, as I said, it's, it's irrelevant, or your girlfriend touched you, or whatever. Um, so the problem here is, like reason if consequences not perceived by any given moment, the spirit is not aware. It simply doesn't know then, and it, it's not aware of what is real, what is not real. Even if you're sure there was something, like a smartphone was on your leg, but um, the, the, the spirit is still not aware if it doesn't know the smartphone was there. It, it can't know it. This is a big problem, because you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't consider then in the future that your spirit actually did that, your being, your, if you want to call it your body, but I don't believe that you're just a body, or bodies are generally a weird idea. Um, and the sacrificial ideal is that combining touch to idea of non-existence. So this is how, how a deleting of touch is possible. You need to almost eradicate a part of your soul. I did try it and then recovered my soul. The part I eradicated it was gone, but it's not so easy to just eradicate a soul. You, you, you can get it back. So I needed as part of my soul to try it. It did work, but only to a certain degree. I was really confused at first. Um, but then I remember the touch regardless of how I didn't know it. And it's really weird. And I reactivated my soul and it worked. It was true. But there's more, which I will come to later, why it's impossible. So combining, combining touch to idea of non-existence means you would need to do that, exactly that. You would have a non-existent state of being, so someone or you puts a sacrifice on your soul and sacrifices a part of your being while the touch happens. So you have a moment of non-awareness in that sense, but you are aware with the rest of your spirit problem, the foundation of essential processes absent in no time. That's the second reason. And this is, sounds really bad because it actually works like that. I said it does work and I wouldn't advise it to because recovering your soul is not so easy. It's not so easy to do it. In my mind, it's possible, but not so easy. And I won't prove it again to myself because it's actually very crucial, cr cruel, not crucial. <laughs> so foundation of essential processes absent in no time mean that um, the foundation of something 
that is important to knowing the non-existence of being and therefore the the realm of touch is absent now in in a in a space of no time meaning there in a sense where you don't perceive time or where time is even not real it doesn't matter it's it's the same um, this is the moment where you, the, where these essential processes need to be absent and it needs to be ordered in such a way that you have a certain order in it that has something to do with the sacrificial knowledge i won't explain it to people because it's wrong it's dark magic <laughs> so let's not explain it i just explain the ideas so it's actually um understandable what i'm hinting at uh, for people who have the problem that they get neurotic or even psychotic because of forgetfulness so why it is impossible to raise touch in a sense like not in a sense but in a sense um the problem is touch is always knowable unless you admire yourself so if you illusion yourself into something you can't really be knowing about touch because everything you do is yourself and yourself does the rest for you so yourself then knows but you illusion yourself so much that you can't know about what you did and then you need to live through your whole conscious experience then you would know again but if you illusion yourself you need to break the illusion to know that so maya is bad for that if you maya yourself and yes i mean maya in the sense that you illusion yourself so reason why non-existence is impossible at state of no time so this is the reason why it's actually impossible to erase touch in the sense that it's not knowing knowable anymore it doesn't mean you can't erase it i said i tried it it's really really weird it works uh, non-existence is impossible at state of no time meaning here that the existence um uh in non in, in, in nothingness at uh somewhere where there is no perception or no time at all is impossible because it would eradicate each other like non-existence and no time doesn't work and i come to that reason why now uh, i think i have one more bullet though yes time is no it's not actually there uh, time is caused by perception over experience i believe meaning um if you perceive something over the experience or memory you made um you you uh cause time in your being or around your being or whatever you want to call it so following this is if touch if in a moment of essential processes is non-existence impossible for spirit because if you need to perceive something over the experience right you can't make no time because no time just exists in those moments where you are total calm and know everything about yourself but don't cause experience or perception and here we come to the problem the the, the thing is that touch crazy the touch in this moment is uh is then always knowable to a sense like you could remember it in some sense um because and that's the point even if all given possible that you could erase touch or like someone else could do it in some manipulative way or whatever for a slip moment that does that um the construct would be still be there because of non-existence and the reason is the absence of but the word changed the absence of structure sorry that they're strict uh, the absence of structure in non-existence causes relation so this is difficult to explain because it was well a construct but uh, i explained in one of my books if you have nothingness for example nothingness needs to be nothing anymore to cause something 
right? If you have nothing and you suddenly have something like the miracle of conscious or universe or something or matter or whatever you want to call anything that comes into existence from nothing, which needs to be the case because it's it's like a really bad dogma if you believe that everything was always eternal because that would mean if everything was always there that nothing changes and things change all the time and if time is actually perception over experience you are something that was always there that means your perception shouldn't change because so much different pathways of of ideas accumulate into an experience that is not changing but in fact your experience changes every day to the degree that you even if you walk the same street you have different wind you have a different I don't know like light from the sun color schemes whatever so the absence of structure in, in the non-existence is causing something that causes something. And that's why it's impossible to erase touch in that sense, because it's only possible in non-existence without a structure that causes the perception, meaning the time, or the idea of the way of the processes that are actually responsible for the oh, what was it uh, time 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 processes and Uh, perception, right? No, the perception is wrong. So perception is wrong. I think it was non-existence. But I did just make this theory. Not that I didn't make it up. I do mean it. That's not the point. I don't want to forget it. Well, funny. <laughs> so what I mean in sense is, if you have a structure in non-existence that actually causes something, and that is true, which I believe to be true, otherwise, like I said. Uh, uh, there would not be something from nothing which needs to be the case because everything would not change if it's not the truth that's why conscious is a miracle to me um, then the absence of processes that form a structure or processes that rely on a structure that needs to be formed before is actually impossible because you would always have just the structure of the the relation to non-existence and even if that is true i said it causes relation of of ideas and of other realms meaning that you could still know it what what happened at any given point regarding touch and some other senses because you could Evaluate it against your hypothetical ideas that you constructed of yourself. They're mathematically perfect, of course, that is, which is still difficult to do, but you know yourself better than anyone else. I believe I do. Um, well, maybe, maybe someone else. Well, you know, it's difficult. <laughs> so, um, absence of that, which causes the, for that relation, could still could still be seen as evaluatable against the mathematical construct. And the, the point being is, even if they're not perfect, this is still holding true. Because the relation that formed from the knowledge, even if it was erased, hint to a certain fundamental idea. And this is where we call, where we, where we call it ideal. Um, why sacrificial ideal reason being if the central construct of the relation is not the same 
as the central construct of the mathematic mathematical abstraction which is fairly easy to do because you just need to abstract some parts of you into some hypothetical scenario that doesn't really come to be true and then experience the emotion in that sense you can easily evaluate it of course it's better if it's done perfectly your conscious is well more imbalanced but it still holds true even for for people who don't perceive mathematics as easy yeah so this is this is i think a really important video because to me it's like a really interesting no 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 not the interesting myself it's um it's a really important topic because people tend to forget things and like this you can at least prove that what you thought was that and not that or what you felt was that and not that or what you uh, idealized was that and not that meaning if you for example have a fear of something you can know that better with this theory if you have for example the psychosis of being touched you can know that with this theory better, even if the knowledge got erased by some process in your conscious, from outside your conscious, or from the world itself. Yeah, so this is uh, interesting. I don't know. I don't know if it helps people, but yeah, I hope it does. Have a nice day, evening, whatever.